Hola, ¿cómo están? Me llamo Ana and welcome to Butterfly Spanish. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to talk about yourself, how to describe yourself, right? You're going to say, I am tall, I have brown eyes, I have blue eyes, I am short, I am fat, I am thin, I am slender. I, whatever you want to say about you, my eyes are green, my eyes are blue, my eye, whatever you want to show up about yourself, you're going to learn it hoy, okay, bueno, and to start our lesson first, we're going to learn what are, what we're going to learn the verbs that you're going to use to describe yourself, and then With this, those verbs, we're going to learn how to use them with these words or with the other words or with nouns and adjectives and all that headache that you might get speaking of Spanish grammar. But this is going to be very easy, so stay with me and let's learn. Not together, because I already know it, but you have to learn. Okay, bueno, empezamos. En Vamos a empezar. Eh, the two verbs you're going to use to describe yourself are tan 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 ser and tener. Huh. What are those verbs in English? Well, ser is the verb to be that caught, like gave me a lot of headaches when I was learning that verb to be. Y tener is to have. That didn't really give me a lot of headaches, but this in English. No. Ser y tener. Oh, well, let's start with ser. Bueno, ser. As you remember, ser is an irregular verb. Oh, what does that mean? Well, it just means that for every person it is conjugated, the verb is different. For instance, is yo soy, tú eres, él es, ella es, usted es, nosotros somos, Ustedes son, ellos son, ellas son. Ah, oh, yeah, it changes with almost all of them. But it's easy. Usually when you're describing yourself, you're just gonna use yo, I, yo, I. Maybe you're describing your friend to your other friend. So you're going to use él or you're describing, describing, describir your girlfriend, tu novia. And it's her, she. Okay, and let's start. So, ser. Ser plus an adjective. Adjective with a C here, a C. Uh -huh. Ser plus adjective. Well, what's an adjective? Well, adjective is a quality. A quality that describes yourself. What's your quality? Oh, you're fat, you're thin, you're slender, you're short, you're tall, you're handsome, you're ugly. Uh, What's your quality? That's an adjective. The, the quality of the noun. What's the noun? The noun is the object, the thing, the person, the name. Do you understand? So the adjective is the quality that the person you're describing has. So if you say, I am, I'm saying, soy, yo soy. But remember, because I don't have to say yo soy, because the yo, the soy, sorry, implies that is yo. Okay, if I say soy, I'm not talking about she, but uh, he, uh, about a she, about a he, yo. But you don't need it because the verb implies a person. Soy joven. What's joven? Young. Joven. Young. It's not joven. Remember the sound of the J? Joven. Sounds like an H in English. Joven. Soy joven. Tú eres gordo. You're fat. Tú eres gordo. But maybe you're a woman. You are fat and you're a woman. Tú eres gorda. Tú, eh, um, él es delgado. Usted es delgado. E ella es delgada. Soy alta. I'm not tall. I'm short. Soy baja. In Mexico, we say soy Chaparrita <laughs> or chaparrito if it's a man or a woman. Chaparrita, chaparrito. And 
as you can see, they all change gender, right? So it depends on whether or not you're talking about a female or a male, feminine or masculine uh, noun. So if you say about feminine is delgada, but if you're talking about a man, delgado, ends with O, ends with A. Delgado, delgada, what's the equivalent to English? Oh, thin, slender, okay? Unlike fat, some people are fat, some people are thin. I am thin, I've been, al I've been always thin, right? My mother wanted me to gain weight, but I couldn't because I am thin. But some people are fat. That by the way, fat, like maybe, is like, I don't know if it's rude in English. In, in, in Spanish, it's normal to say like, oh, he's fat. Like, él es gordo. Ella es gorda. It's the way they are. It's, there's nothing like, like nothing strange about it. In, in English, I, I, I think it's like some, like you have to say in secret. I don't know. Some cultural thing. Uh, well, now uh, I lost track because I forgot to put the thin. But delgado is thin. Anyway. Now let's move on to the second verb, tener. Oh, well, tener is used to describe um, the parts of your body. For instance, you can, like with ser, we describe ourselves, we, we wave the qualities. But the person, what was the noun? What was the object we were describing? Me or you, right? I am short, I am tall, you are uh, thin, you are uh, uh, short, tú eres chaparro, chaparra, tú eres gordo, gorda, delgado, delgada. But tener actually doesn't take you as a noun. It takes the part of your body you're describing, okay? You're not the object. The object are the part of the body you're talking about. For instance, if I say, my eyes are black. Um, I'm not talking, I'm talking about myself, but I'm talking specifically about my eyes. Oh, my face is round, okay? My nose is big and so on. So for that, you're going to use tener, which is almost a regular verb, except for the fact that it goes uh, tengo, yo tengo, Yo tengo my hair. My hair is brown. Yo tengo el cabello castaño. It's like brown. Castaño. Tengo el cabello castaño. Huh. But maybe my hair is kind of, uh, it's not curly. My hair is sometimes, it's sometimes um, short, sometimes long, sometimes curly, sometimes straight, depend, depending how I do it. Tengo el cabello rizado. Rizado means curly. Well, curly means rizado. <laughs> rizado means curly. Tengo el cabello rizado. Tengo el cabello corto, short. Tengo el cabello largo, long. You're a woman, you might, like, it's very, it's very, very likely you're going to have long hair. If you're a man, very likely you're gonna have short hair. There are differences, of course. I'm not generalizing. I never generalize in my course because language and things change. Um, some people, instead of cabello, say pelo. But in Mexico, I say we say cabello and pelo is more for like animals or like something like that. So you can use either or, depends. Uh, el cabello. Uh, Chino, curly, rubio, rizado, chino, curly, rubio, blonde. Am I blonde? No, no soy rubia. Uh -huh. Mi cabello no es rubio, es castaño. Yours might be rubio, might be blonde. Blonde, brown, black. Okay, now, my face, cara, la cara. Tengo la cara redonda. I have a round face. Tengo la cara ovalada. I have an oval face. Tengo la cara cuadrada. 
have a square face like SpongeBob. Um, uh, tengo la cara alargada when you're like, no, very long face. Tengo la cara, tengo la cara alargada, redonda, cuadrada, ovalada. Okay, and now los ojos. <laughs> Los ojos, ¿de qué color son tus ojos? What color are your eyes? ¿De qué color son tus ojos? Tengo los ojos negros. Tengo los ojos verdes. Tengo los ojos morados, purple. Tengo los ojos amarillos, yellow. Uh, Tú tienes los ojos verdes, green. Tú tienes los ojos azules, you have blue eyes. Um, o tú tienes, usted, usted tiene los ojos rojos. <laughs> you have red eyes. Oh, I don't know why. What did you do? What were you doing? So you have red eyes. <laughs> Yo no tengo los ojos rojos. No, tengo los ojos negros. A lot of people tell me people cannot have black eyes. They can just have brown eyes for some scientific things or I don't know. I think I have black eyes, but they say no, they are brown. Okay, cafés, negros, café. Okay, cafés, café, negros. Uh, okay, now we learned this. So for some characteristics, características, you use ser, for some others you use tener, soy, a, uh, tengo, soy y tengo. <laughs> And now we're going to use, how are you going to ask? Eres alto, eres bajo, eres alta, you're woman, eres baja, question mark. Uh, uh, es usted, uh, es <laughs> tienes ¿Tienes los ojos azules? Do you have blue eyes? ¿Tienes los ojos azules? Uh, no. I have brown eyes. No. Tengo los ojos cafés. Ok. Y bueno. How are you? What's your appearance? ¿Cómo eres? What's your appearance, mister? ¿Cómo es usted? ¿Cómo eres? You, informal, casual, friendly. ¿Cómo es usted? You, formal, polite. Okay, well, I hope this is clear. I wrote some uh, rules for you to learn. You can maybe have a notebook and your notes. Write them is ser is used plus an adjective. Describes the quality, your quality as you, the person. I am short, I am, I am tall, I am fat, I am thin, etc. And tener plus an article. But you might want to see other lessons on articles. El, la, and so on, los, las. The part of the body you're describing, nose, mouth, eyes, ears, orejas, ojos, boca, nariz, <laughs> mejillas. In Mexico we say cachetes. <laughs> and what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't get distracted, Anna. An adjective. What's an adjective? The quality of a noun, a person, a thing. Okay, whatever we're talking about, of. And I think I didn't forget anything. I hope. I hope you understand me. My understood my lesson because I was very clear. As an I. Uh, if you like my lesson and you want to learn español pronto, pronto, rápido. Subscribe to my channel Butterfly Spanish and learn más español para que te vayas de vacaciones uh, so you can go on vacation. Subscribe to my channel Butterfly Spanish. Adiós, hasta mañana, hasta luego. Bye.